Listeners across North Texas did something they have not done in decades today. They ran their own school buses. For years, Dallas County Schools ran that operation. But the agency shut down amid a, corp a corruption scandal and thought it was, and though it is gone rather, the old saying remains true. Nothing is certain but death and taxes. Taxes for the now defunct agency that you're on the hook for to pay for years. So while you watch this story, we want to know, should taxpayers be on the hook for Dallas County Schools? Go to the Vote Now tile, WFAA app, and then weigh in. In the meantime, here's Tanya Iser. Excited parents walking their kids to school. <laughs> Buses picking up and dropping off. He's starting kindergarten. The Smiths, the company, their kids, to Sanger Elementary on the first day of school. Did you by any chance know that you guys are still going to be paying taxes on Dallas County Schools? Uh, did I did that. not know that. I mean, it's just life. It's, you know, I don't like it. That was the common reaction from parents when they heard they'll be paying taxes for the now defunct Dallas County Schools. The busing agency ceased to exist in November. Its debt lives on and taxpayers are on the hook. Is that part of the big uh, 70 million or whatever? Yes, it's yes, missing? yes. Wow, yes. exciting. Dallas County Schools went bust amid a corruption scheme involving a stop arm camera contract with force multiplier solutions. And I don't like, uh, I don't like when people took, um, you know, abuse, abuse their positions. Dallas County Schools owes a debt of about 106 million to 33 creditors. Officials expect to pay off the debt with interest in six to seven years. It just depends on how much property values grow and can collect. As a taxpayer myself, I'm disappointed. State Senator Don Huffines led the legislative effort to end the bus agency. This was the largest government shutdown in modern Texas history. Almost 3,000 employees. Stephanie Curtis represents the dissolution committee in a lawsuit against its former superintendent, Dr. Ricky Sorrells, and others involved in the bribery scheme. And we'd like to reduce that price tag for the taxpayers. We'd like to reduce it to zero if possible. She says a buyer has been found for the thousands of cameras languishing inside a warehouse at the Southeast Dallas bus center. Not far away from Sanger Elementary, on a quiet, tree-lined street, Sorrells lives in this $1.3 million home. He's confessed to pocketing more than $3 million in bribes. A woman who answered the door at the Sorrells residence <coughs> Hi, it's Dr. Sorrells in. quickly shut it when she saw us. I think he'll have a lot of time to reflect on that while he's wearing an orange jumpsuit. Tanya Iser, Channel 8 News. Right back to the question that we asked you. Do you think that taxpayers should be on the hook for Dallas County Schools? Take a look. You have been voting. About 300 of you right now, we're told. Yes, we're hearing 12%. No, though, 88%. An overwhelming no tonight from you. We do thank you for voting tonight.